For the fourth time in six years, the Conservative Party of Canada is looking for a new leader. Erin O'Toole resigned from his leadership position yesterday after his caucus voted to remove him. Megan Cobb has been following this story and is reporting live from the McDougall Centre. Megan, what does that mean for Conservatives in Alberta? Yes, Sylvia, the shakeup at the federal level has many wondering what it means for Jason Kenney and his upcoming leadership review. It's easy to see the similarities between the two parties and their leaders, but O'Toole's departure may not mean the end of Jason Kenney. The door closed on another Conservative Party of Canada leader when Aaron O'Toole was voted out of leadership by caucus Wednesday. It seemed to be happening very quickly. The, the letter gets released on a Monday night, and by Wednesday noon, he is gone. 73 of 118 MPs voted by secret ballot in favour of replacing O'Toole. He needed to secure 50% of the vote to hold on to the leadership position. Experts say there are many factors that led to his departure, including losing the last federal election and flip-flopping on key issues like carbon tax and, most recently, the trucker convoy protesting the U.S.-Canada border vaccine mandate. Well, he was trying to appeal to everybody, which meant that he appealed to nobody. There are many similarities between the Conservative Party of Canada and the United Conservative Party in Alberta. Thing that we're seeing in the fragmentation that we're seeing on the right side of the Conservative Party right now is also being reflected in the federal party. O'Toole's departure has some independent MLAs calling for Premier Jason Kenney's resignation and has many Albertans wondering what the provincial leadership review will bring. But Kenney's fate might not be tied to O'Toole's. The UCP leadership review is scheduled for April 9th and Kenny has already started garnering support, with some seeing the promise to remove the restrictions exemption program as a way to appease his base. This is his strong suit. It's, I think it's virtually impossible to beat him at his own game. Experts say the biggest difference between the federal and provincial reviews and their potential outcomes is the manner in which the vote is held, since Kenny's won't be by secret ballot. Sylvia? Thanks, Megan. That was Megan Cobb reporting live from the McDougall Centre.